They told you to learn Python, to download Kaylee, to run a few tools and call yourself a hacker. But nobody told you the truth. You can't be a real hacker until you master Linux, not just use it. I mean, breathe with it. Because Linux isn't just an operating system. It's the battlefield. It's the underground language of servers, exploits, rootkits, payloads, and persistence. And once you learn how to speak it, the machine starts speaking back. See, most people are stuck in their pretty interfaces, clicking, dragging, waiting, but hackers, they operate in the dark, command by command. They don't need a mouse. They don't even need a screen half the time. They just need the terminal, a blinking cursor, and they will control everything behind it. That's the real entry point. And the moment you feel that power, the moment you type a command and the system obeys, that's when you stop being a user and start becoming a hacker. But here's the problem. You open a terminal and you freeze. Hundreds of commands, cryptic outputs, nothing makes sense. So let me guide you. Let me show you the way real hackers learn Linux. You don't start with books. You don't watch hours of lectures. You get your hands dirty. You break things. You run commands that crash your machine and force you to fix it from the ashes. Because that's how hackers learn. Not like students, but like soldiers. Let's begin with the basics because you open a terminal. But where are you? You're in a directory, a folder in a massive tree. The root? That's slash. It's where everything begins. Go deeper in slash bin. Holds the binaries. Slash etc the configs files, slash var slash log, the truth, logs that expose everything that's happened. Want to find the shadow file? It's in slash etc slash shadow. Storing password hashes, guarded, but not unreachable. Need persistence? Drop a script in slash etc slash init.d or hijack a cron job from slash etc slash cron.d. Understanding the Linux file structure is like knowing the blueprints of every building you plan to break into. Once you know where everything lives, hiding, manipulating, and exploiting becomes second nature. But structure alone isn't enough. You need access. That's where permissions come in. Every file in Linux has three levels of permission, owner, group, and others. Each level controls three actions read, write, execute. You'll see it like this. That's a silent gatekeeper telling you what you can and can't do. Want to break privilege barriers? You learn the numbers, chmod777, full access for everyone. chmod plus s, the deadly suid bit. If you find a suid binary owned by root, that's your elevator to root shell. This is how real privilege escalation begins, not with tools, but with understanding. And then there's users and groups. Everything in Linux revolves around identity. You're either root, or you're a guest. Each user has a UID, each group has a GID. Want to hide? Create a low-privileged user and switch identities with SU. Want to attack? Check if you're part of pseudo, docker, or even administration. Those groups can be gold mines for abuse. You can add users, modify groups, spoof identities. That's how attackers move silently inside a system blending into the structure that was meant to protect it. Now, this knowledge means nothing if you don't apply it. Here's how you will learn Linux, just like the hackers who command the system. Start here, linuxjourney.com. It's like recon. It gives you the map of the terrain, what the file system looks like, how permissions work, what Bash is really doing under the hood. But don't just read it, use it. Open a VM, install a Linux distro, Kali, Parrot, Ubuntu, doesn't matter, and type every command yourself. Break your system on purpose. Then figure out how to fix it. That pain, that confusion, that's growth. That's the first sign you're getting closer to root. Then move to overthewire.org. This is not a tutorial. It's a live fire range for hackers. You'll start with Bandit. It throws you straight into the terminal with one goal, escape to the next level. And no, it won't hold your hand. You'll have to use commands like cat, find, base64, ssh, and weird permission tricks to move forward. Every level teaches you something useful. Something real, something you will absolutely use in the field. And once Bandit feels too easy, you're ready for bigger games, Leviathan, Narnia, and Krypton. These challenges are brutal. You'll deal with privilege escalation, binary exploitation, file injection. You'll learn what it really means to own a Linux box, not from the outside, os, but from inside the system itself. But don't just stop there. If you're serious about this, you need to pick your path because Linux is not just one thing. It's a weapon and how you use it depends on what kind of hacker you want to become. If you want to be the one who breaks systems, focus on exploitation. Get into Kali. Learn how to use tools like Nmap, Hydra, Netcat, TCP Dump. But more importantly, learn how those tools work under the hood. Read slash, etc. slash shadow. Understand how SUID works. Explore cron tab misconfigs. Because real hackers don't rely on tools. They recreate them when needed. If your goal is invisibility, anonymity, silence, then Linux becomes your cloak. You'll use it to strip logs, rotate identities, hide footprints. You'll chain proxies, route through VPN tunnels, 
run Tor inside of Onyx inside of an air-gapped VM. You'll learn how to stay invisible inside a system while it's still running. And if you're the builder, the one who forges scripts and automations, then Linux is your forge. Bash is your weapon. Automate scans, create payloads, build your own pen test toolkit, write scripts that adapt to the target. That's how you scale. That's how you move faster than your targets can respond. Don't ignore platforms like Try Hack Me or Hack the Box. They're gold mines, not just for challenges, but for real Linux practice. Deploy machines, abuse file permissions, exploit services, escalate from user to root, all in a safe but realistic environment. Practice every command until it flows out of your fingers without thinking. You're not learning a language anymore. You're becoming fluent in control. And eventually, the terminal will stop feeling like a tool and start feeling like home. That's when you know. That's when it clicks. When you log into a Linux server and nothing surprises you. When you read a config file and see the flaw instantly. When a machine becomes a puppet and you're pulling the strings. That's the point of all this. Not to look smart, not to play hacker, but to understand the system so deeply, so completely, that no configuration, no service, no defense can stop you. Because you've trained in the dark. You've learned Linux like a weapon. You've failed, broken, rebuilt, and risen again until the machine stopped resisting you. So if you're still watching this, here's what you do next. You install Linux today. You run one command you've never used before. You crash something. You fix it. You take notes. You start your journey. Because out here, in this world, the one who commands the terminal owns the game. If that hit you deep, like subscribe and share this with someone who needs to hear it. And drop a comment below. What was the first Linux command that made you feel like a real hacker? This is Hacker's Arsenal, and this is just the beginning. See you in the next one.